Good morning. So welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. Uh, this is day 19 of Shine and it's the full moon. Uh, it was really, really, really beautiful. And then the sunrise this morning was this deep orangey with, with yellow and oh, it was so beautiful. Like really, really spectacular. Um, Today, yeah, Sinead, my sister, uh, was asking for more side body. And I'm like, yeah, we're doing side body this week. And anything else? No, that's it. Um, come into a child's pose on your mat. Come, come. Oh, yes. And have your, have your things handy and your shiny things. And <laughs> come, come. So settling in, just reaching your arms long, dropping your head down and wiggling yourself down as deep as you can in wellness into your child's pose. In the cycles of this planet, uh, the full moon is a really deep and powerful moment. Um, the plants all grow according with the moon. Uh, the sea is moved by the moon. You know, the, the water of this planet is pulled by the moon. And you are 70 or 80% water, probably 70% water. So you are pulled by the moon. So as you settle in right now, as you feel into your belly, Just feel the pull of whatever that is, you know, that I think, you know, I don't know much about the moon, you know, it's been there always, but yeah, sometimes I imagine that I feel it. Nice, reach your hands forward and then come into a cat pose, so rounding your back and arching your back. And I want you to focus a little bit extra on your lower back. So as you round, really feel like you you push into your lower back and as you arch really drop into your belly are the two sides of your lower back even for me there's always one side that's a little bit more powerful or a little bit more connected and the other one is hitching a ride it's um traveling along beside the more powerful side how is that for you Nice. And now we're going to travel. So walk your hands a tiny bit forward, round your back and focus on how your lower back sits backwards. And then arching your back, focus on your lower back as it travels forward. So you're leaning deeply into your lower back. And so when I start to focus on one particular place, I slow down. So rounding your back, lean into your lower back. And notice the stronger side, is that doing all the work? Or can you share the load between both sides of your lower back? Rounding, sitting your bum back. Arching, gliding forward, change direction. Arching, gliding back. Rounding, coming forward. Try and find your lower back as you do this movement. Arching, gliding back. Rounding, gliding forward. One more time. Arching, gliding back. Rounding, gliding forward. Nice. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Reach your right hand as far forward as you can. And as I reach my right hand forward, I pull my right hip backwards to counterweight what's happening. Nice. Come back up. And again, slide your right hand forward. Feel how you pull your right hip backwards to reach your right hand forward nice now glide your right hand back towards your right foot what are you doing now into the lower back and pelvis i think my left hip is sticking out a little bit more as i do this nice glide your right hand towards the left underneath your armpit what is your lower back and pelvis doing now as you glide? 
I'm just sliding in, drawing out. I just feel that I'm sliding my baby finger along the floor. Nice. Last time over towards the right itself. What are you doing with your lower back as you do this? Nice. Change sides. Left hand travels forward. Notice how your left hip travels back as you do it. Nice. Left hand back. And notice what your right hip is doing as you do this. Left hand to the right. Sliding in, sliding out. Notice what your lower back is doing. Sliding your left hand to the left. What happens in your lower back as you do this? Nice, push back into your downward dog, lengthening backwards. Begin to wiggle your knees, so bend your right knee, bend your left knee. And as you do that, lean into the rib cage at the side of your waist. So as I bend my right knee, I lean my bum to the right. As I bend my left knee, I lean my bum to the left. You can even drop a knee down to the floor which increases the length through the lower back. Nice, both knees to the floor. Now we're going to squeeze sideways. So a coordination to the left, a coordination to the right. So squeezing the right side of your waist, squeezing the left and lean your torso. So when I squeeze the right, lean your torso to the left, squeeze the right, lean your torso to the other side. <laughs> Nice. And draw your right knee up towards your right elbow. Stretch your right leg long and swing it around the corner. Right knee, right elbow. And around the corner. Right knee, right elbow. Swing it around the corner. Super. Other side, left knee, left elbow. Swing it. Left knee, left elbow. Swing. Left knee, left elbow, swing. Cool. Rolling up. Mm. Oh, lift your knees off the floor and just pause there in a forward bend. Belly's on your thighs, your head is dropping. See if you can wiggle a bit here. So I'm bending one knee, lengthening the other leg. And as I do that, I'm really meeting the backs of my thighs, the side of my feet. Bend both knees. Stretch both legs, bend both knees, stretch both legs. So bring your hands like your fingertips as far forward as you can, and then drop your knees to the floor. Nice, lift your knees off the floor, walk your hands back, slowly rolling up, reach your arms wide, palms come together. Bending your elbows, bending your knees all the way down, reach your hands forward, knees to the floor, and again. Lift your knees up, rolling up. Reach your arms wide, palms come together. Bending your elbows, bending your knees, coming down. Reach forward, knees to the floor. Again, hands off the floor, rolling up. Reach your arms wide, palms come together. And bending your elbows, bending your knees. Hands to the floor, knees come down. Rest again into your child's pose. So now as you rest, what has changed in your spine, in your hips, in your feet, in your knees? Nice. Reach your hands out forward in front of you and then walk your hands over towards the right side. Bend your right elbow, lean into the left side of your waist. Nice. Other side, walk your hands over towards the left, bend your left elbow, hand beside your shin, lean into the right arm, right side of your waist.
Nice. Come all the way up. Push your hands into the floor, lift your knees. Rolling slowly up, reach your arms wide, palms come together. Palms come to rest in front of your chest. Nice. So come to the wall. Your left hand is near the wall. My feet are hip distance apart. And bring your right hand to your hip and begin to lean your hips towards and away from the wall. And so see if you can slow down the end of the movement so that you're, you're traveling at normal speed in the center and then you slow down as you travel to the very end of your movement. So rather than hitting the end of your range, you're returning in softness. Begin to move your shoulders a little bit more. So when I travel towards the right, my left, right elbow goes down. When I travel towards the left, I feel the folding into the rib cage a little bit more. And then include your neck in what you're doing. Softening the last bit of the movement. Nice. Now we're going to include the arm. So reach your right arm over and towards the, the wall and then pull your right elbow down towards your right hip, including your neck and what you're doing. So you feel there is movement in your head and neck and it feels wholesome. How do you connect with the elastic of the side of your body? So you can step a little bit further away from the wall so that there's more of a lean, more of a reach. My hand is still flat on the wall, but I'm straightening my left arm. Which is nicer for your neck to look down or to look up or to look forward. Nice. So next time you travel towards the wall, pause with your fingers reaching and then push strongly into your left hand and lift your left foot off the floor. And then lean a bit deeper so that your right hip moves towards the right and your fingers try and come to the wall. Nice. Come all the way back other side so over towards the wall on the right so your elbow starts out as bent and then bring your hand to your hip and just begin to lean your hips from side to side and then begin to include your shoulders And now begin to include your neck. Nice. Now include your arm. And my thumb is facing my body the whole time. So as my hand reaches over, the baby finger edge of my arm is the outside of the circle. I'm going to straighten into the right arm more. Remember, your hips travel in both directions. Nice. Next time you reach towards the wall, pause, reaching, lift your right foot off the floor, straighten into your right arm, lean a little bit more. So it's like I'm inflating up like the outer edge of the left side of my body is like a balloon and it's floating up and out. I'm really leaning into it, filling into it, connecting all the different parts into one continuous elastic feeling. Nice, come all the way down. Oh, hands to your hips, just roll. And then roll in the other direction. Super cool, so come lie on your back. The next movement is uh, the ballerina twist. 
So lie on your back, knees are bent. So hands rest on your belly, feet are hip distance apart. Drop your knees down towards the right. And as you drop your knees down towards the right, let your arms travel overhead a little bit towards the left so that I'm looking towards the left with my head and my right arm is near the back of my head and my left elbow is a little bit away from me, but my hands are still in a circle. okay? So my hands are still interlocked, okay? Come back up to center, hands to your belly, and then drop your knees down towards the left. Turn your head towards the right and your arms are a little bit over towards the right and your head is in the circle of your arms. So we can travel. Hands to your belly, over. And so the more that you draw your head towards the side it's turning to, which is the opposite from your knees, and the more you dive with your arms to that side, the more of an upper body side bend begins to happen with a back bend. So I just feel that. Listening in wellness to your spine, to your neck. Nice. So I'm always creating new versions of things, as you know. So we're going to do that movement. So stay there if that felt strong enough. Okay. Or we're going to do that movement with gliders. So as you just start by keeping your hands on your belly and glide your left knee up towards your right shoulder and then come back to center and then glide your right knee up towards your left shoulder and come back to center. So now we're going to do a ballerina glider. Okay. So reach your arms overhead, draw your knees towards the right, turn your head towards the left, ballerina to the left, gliders to the right. Come back to center, hands to your belly, and then gliders to the left, ballerina to the right. Back to center, gliders to the right, ballerina to the left. Center, gliders to the left, ballerina to the right. Center, and just do it a few more times. Ballerina to the right, gliders to the left. No, I did that back to front. <laughs> I just feel. It's one more time each side. Nice, come back to center. So, Grab your weight. We may as well use weights. Grab your weight and reach your arms up towards the ceiling, holding on to your weight. Nice. Bend both knees and try and draw your knees to the outside of your elbows. Your toes are touching and you're squeezing your knees down the outside of your arms towards your shoulders. You can stay there or you can lift your head off the floor to glide your arms up your knees or down your knees. So you can either drop your head to the floor, keep the position, or keep your head off the floor and then slowly lengthen your left leg long. Have it as near to the floor as possible. Nice, come back up. And then stretch your right leg long. And go back up. Drop your head to the floor if you had it up. Hmm. So you can either lift your head again or keep your head on the floor. Mm, stretch your right leg long. Keep your left knee to the outside of your arm. And then come back up. Stretch the other leg long. Nice. Then come back up. <laughs> Dropping down. Zombie twist. So begin to sway your weight from side to side and sway your knees from side to side. And be really interested in the end of the range. So where, where do you stop? So slow it down near the end of your range just to really hear in wellness what your distance is.
Nice, one more time each side. Nice, come back to center. Drop your weight. Hands to your heart. And just think of the things you're grateful for. Three things that you're grateful for this morning. Three things that have made a difference this morning in your wellness or three things in your life in general. Just make them small, make them really relatable, tangible, things that you're grateful for. Nice, so you can stay there, soles your feet together, knees apart, or you can stretch your legs up towards the ceiling. You can bring your hands underneath your bum or fists underneath your bum or from back in a line, you can bring your block underneath your bum. Or roll over and head off into your day. And so thanks so much for joining me. Um, hope you have a wonderful uh, Saturday. And um, yeah, I will see you all tomorrow morning for Sunday. Um, uh, oh yeah, a few of you were saying, it's very interesting, a few were saying that like some people only do Sunday yum. Um, they've gone back and they've checked out the Sunday yum. And then some people, because of <laughs> different things going on, that they've chosen to go back and do Sunday yums or back into, you know, different ones, different months at different stages back in the past. It's really amazing. I like this pick and mix, choosing what suits you in this moment. Um, so welcome, welcome, welcome. So nice to have you here. And uh, as always, thanks to those of you who have contributed. Um, it's always really um, very awesome. Um, so great. Be well. Be awesome. Be you. And yeah, and I'll see you all tomorrow, Sunday. Um, have your slidey things and weights handy. And uh, great. Super. Uh, ciao, ciao. Slongafol. Bye.